welcome back to another video on my channel. I have a very exciting video today. We have some new releases from Nail Queen Studio. We have a new color gel collection that is dropping. It is releasing tomorrow. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys are thinking about it too. Uh, there's 13 new colors. One of the little kind of mini collections in it is a neon collection too. We also have some colors that I feel like just kind of needed to be put into their lines. So Nail Queen Studio is a relatively new line, I would like to say. I know it's been around for a few years, but it's new to people kind of discovering it and I'm really excited to be featuring it because although they don't have like a huge vast array of color selection that we see from some other brands they are bringing in the colors that you guys are requesting they are bringing in a bunch of options that I think are staples and I'm really excited for some of the different ones that they've added to this lineup here um, I have two videos up swatching their gel polishes that I have as well as all of their hard gels too so if you wanted to see my feedback on them thoughts about the brand, that sort of thing, I will link those videos in the description box below. It's a brand that I've really enjoyed working with. I really like the formulation of their color gels. Um, packaging is like second to none, <laughs> but not only is the packaging beautiful, the products perform really well too. So many of you were curious about whether they have like a trial kit or anything, and they do now, which is really good because if it is something that you were looking to try out, it's nice to have those little smaller sizes to see how you like it, how you like working on it with clients. Um, I have been using the crystal clear. I want to feature this in a favorites video. I can't remember if I have yet or not. I don't think I did. Um, but I have been using their crystal clear on the few clients that I still have. This is so clear. It's crazy. Like it is seriously so crazy. And it was designed to go with their loose glitters that they have so that it really makes the colors of the loose, loose glitters all kind of pop and stand out. And I have really enjoyed working with this product too. So enough rambling but let's dive in and do some swatches on these colors so that we can see what we think of them i did want to talk about another new release for their summer launch and this is the nail queen studio skin treats so it's an organic cuticle and nail oil the one that i have is vanilla cookie but it comes in four other scents as well blueberry muffin cotton candy melon berry tart and frosted cupcake and i am not really one for bakery scents usually but this one smells so good i just absolutely love this and the packaging is just so beautiful I love these little daughters here because they're nice and sanitary as well. I'm going to start with the neon ones in this particular collection. First up, we have Neon Raspberry, and this is a bright corally pink. It is a nice one coat coverage, but I do find with one coat that it goes on, I guess, a little bit jelly you would say so you might want to build it up with a second coat as well now their formula for nail queen studio the majority of them i absolutely love they're just like butter they apply so nice some of these neon ones though have a little bit of a thicker consistency so when you're applying them they might pull a little bit and you just have to kind of work it out a bit i did find that with a couple of their neon shades but not all of them and i'll dive into it as we go through them Neon Orange is a bright highlighter orange. It is definitely a true neon, and this one applied really nice. I didn't notice any streaking in it. It had a little bit of that thicker consistency, but it's more closer to the application that I'm used to with Nail Queen Studio. I really like this. I think this orange would be fantastic for Halloween nails too because it's nice and bright, but also a good summery type of orange as well. Neon Tangerine is also an orange, but it leans a little bit more coral and it has like a slighter, lighter look to it. This is a really cool orange that I think would be fantastic for springtime actually, but I think there's a definitely some versatility with this. And this was a great one coat creamy application with it. In one of my last swatch videos, many of you were requesting to see a yellow from Nail Queen Studios. So we have this one, which is called Neon Lemon. It is a super bright yellow. I would not call this like a highlighter neon yellow, which is good because I think that you can get a lot more versatility with it as well. It'd be fantastic for summer nails, but you could also incorporate it into some of your fall and winter designs as well. And this one applied really nice. I did not notice any streaking with it, which is something that we always look for when we're swatching neon colors. 
Another color that was requested was some greens, and we have three in this collection. First one up is Neon Lime. This is an amazing formula. This is the one that I'm like used to seeing from Nail Queen Studio. It applies like a dream, super self-leveling. So just like with any other brand, it kind of depends on the amount of pigments with how they apply. So that's why I like to talk you guys through it as I am swatching them and what I'm noticing with it. This one was beautiful, one coat coverage and a fantastic neon green color. The second neon green in the collection is Neon Kiwi. Now this one is a little bit darker and I personally wouldn't call this one a neon, but it's definitely a bright green. I think of it as like a brighter spring green. So you guys know what I'm gonna say with this one. This one would look fantastic with floral nails and this one applied like butter, like such a dream. You can use the Nail Queen Studio hard gels on top of a finished file nail or you can embed them. So there's definitely some versatility with them. Just Here are the two greens side by side so you can get a better idea of the differences. Next up we have Neon Grape. This is a fantastic bright purple shade. I feel like purples and blues in neon format are really hard to get super bright and Nail Queen Studio definitely did it with this shade. I feel like my camera is not overly doing this justice because it is just such a beautiful rich purple. Although it is bright, I could definitely see doing some fun winter nails with this color for sure. Applied like butter, absolutely loved this color. This one is my favorite one from the entire summer launch. This is Amethyst Pearl, and this is a beautiful purple metallic pearl shade, but it has some silver undertones. It goes on beautiful in a one coat coverage. If you did want it to be a little bit more bold, you could do a second coat with it as well. I can see so many fantastic nail designs with this, especially some marble or some marble stone nails. It is so pretty, and although I have a lot of kind of metallic purples in my collection, I do not have one like this with that silver shade to it. Doll Face is one of the pinks in the collection, and this one I would honestly describe as the perfect light pink shade. I feel like sometimes light pinks can lead a little bit more warm tone, a little more, more cool toned. This is just the perfect shade, and it applied so nice. One of my favorite formulas from Nail Queen Studio, this nice buttery kind. One coat coverage, which is something else that we look for in light pastel shades, and sometimes we end up having to build them up, not this one. I'm gonna say this a few times in this video, but this peaches and cream color is my definition of like the perfect peachy shade as well. It is nice and light, it is not too orange, it's not too bold, it is a beautiful color. One that I think would make a fantastic background color if you were looking to do some nail art on top and not use a white or not use like a vanilla shade, I would definitely gravitate towards something like this. I do think that this shade is a one coat coverage, it is not a thick consistency, it's a nice creamy application but I did have to work out some shadowing with this particular shade so you might want to do a second coat on this one. This pink coconut color I think would make the perfect background color if you were looking to have a pink background. Again, it's one that is nice and soft, it's nice and creamy, it applies really nice, but it's not too bright, it's not too pink, it's not too blue, it's got a really nice color to it and it applied like a dream, one of my favorite consistencies. It's a Boy is one of the fewer blues that we have from Nail Queen Studio. They do have a couple and like a couple turquoises, but it's nice to see a light pastel blue. And I'm gonna say, you guys, this is like the perfect shade of blue. It's not too dark, it's not too medium color, it's not too bold, and it's not too soft. It is just beautiful. Uh, this one I did have to work out a little bit of shadowing with it, but I do think it could go on in one coat, kind of floating type of coverage. And I think it would make a fantastic background for any time you wanna do a sky scenery. It is just so beautiful. And the very last color gel in the collection is called Jaded. This is the last green that I'm gonna share with you. And this is a really nice kind of mossy green, but it's more of a medium tone and not a light color. It's very unique. I think, again, this would be a great background color, but also a really nice one to pair with floral nails. I also think this would be great for fall time matte. I could just see this being such a versatile shade of green. 
And here are the three colors side by side. So we have the neon lime, we have the neon kiwi, and then we have the jaded color. So three great shades of green. Nail Queen Studio is also releasing a gem gel in their summer launch. I have not had the opportunity to use this on a human person yet, but I will report back with what I think after I've had a chance to try it. And here is a look of all the color gels together so you can get an idea of what you think of them. I'm definitely curious to hear you guys' feedback on these shades as well. They did launch a gel polish collection as well and the shades differ from these shades that I'm showing you guys here. So definitely take a look at that if you prefer to work with a gel polish versus a hard gel, but some great options. And it's been really nice to watch the Nail Queen Studio collection kind of grow because they, in my last videos, I have shown you some of their color gels, but we're filling in some of those color gaps with some of these other releases. And I look forward to seeing what she's gonna do for fall and winter too. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you've tried Nail Queen Studio products, definitely comment below and let me know what you're thinking of them. I really enjoy hearing your feedback when I feature new brands like this. You guys know when you come to Talia's Nail Studio that you're getting my complete honest review and opinions on different products. And this brand is something that I have really enjoyed using and working with and creating with. So I would definitely love to hear your guys' feedback as well. If you have a discount code for you, it is not an affiliate link, it's just a discount code for you guys. Um, I will leave that linked in the description box below. Make sure you're following me on all my social media and I will see you in my next video. Bye.